What's good y'all, Stan First Lives. Welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are returning, what is good my loves? This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Energies can go either way, so get in where you fit in. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm already getting, somebody could be choked up at this time and in shock. I feel like somebody could have been like, Okay, like in shock and disbelief and they choked up. They could be in tears because somebody has justice at this time. Okay, um, yeah, I feel like somebody could have been trying to make somebody afraid of, of going towards a love or somebody could have uh, kept trying to use law enforcement or uh, law or uh, the courts to scare someone. I'm getting scare tactics here. Somebody, um, yeah, I feel like somebody, has, patience is over with someone trying to use fear tactics to keep someone stuck and tied to them. I'm getting, and that's justice. They have peace at this time, all right? Um, what I was also getting is somebody could have used the courts to lie and say somebody was an abuser or used law enforcement to lie and say somebody was an abuser, but they're actually peaceful and nonviolent, and that's been proven, and now someone is miserable because it looks like they purposely tricked this person in the past year because they were envious or because they were trying to stop them from a love. Yeah, somebody lied and said someone was abusive, even though uh, I'm getting, but it was, a, it was a trick because they were obsessed with like making this person look like a joke. So they lied and said that they were abusive or that their person was abusive or an abuser. Um, but I'm getting it's because somebody was obsessed with making somebody look like a clown, all right? But now I'm getting this person don't give a fuck about them. So I feel like patience is over. Someone trying to use some something to scare somebody. Well, I'm going to take you to court or I'm going to call the police or I'm going to put you on child support. Or I'm going to take you to court again and call you an abuser. I'm going to say you hit me or something like that. That shit is dead. Yeah, I feel like even the courts know that they were lied to and something was a waste of time, or the police know that they were lied to about this person, and something was a waste of time. Somebody was just being toxic, okay? And I feel like now someone has ran out of time because, yeah, ran out of time being toxic or poisonous towards a connection because they've been caught lying. And it's proven. And I feel like somebody is unorthodox and they're at peace, but I'm getting that doesn't make them an abuser or abusive. I'm getting it's exposed that people were lied to about this person, and just so that they could hold this person back because they really wanted them to look like a joke. They really wanted them to look like a clown. It's because they felt like they didn't, they weren't obsessed with this person in the past. So they tried to make them look like a clown to everyone by lying on them or their person and saying that they were an abuser or their person was abusive. I'm getting, yeah, now somebody don't give a fuck about this person and patience is over. I feel like somebody like, you can't keep using something to put me in fear because I'm happy. Somebody has a happy family and patience is over for this happy family. Yep, I feel like now somebody somebody could have went from being in hermit mode alone all the time to now they've manifested a happy family situation, their ten of cups, and yeah, with someone who's unorthodox. And I feel like but somebody tried to hold this person back or hold this connection back, but I feel like now somebody can't be a crab in a barrel. Yep. I feel like somebody has been single since somebody got somebody pregnant or somebody has been single since a pregnancy and it's because that whoever they got pregnant or whoever they had a kid uh, with, they purposely tried to hold this uh, person back from happiness just because they wanted to clown them, period. And that's being exposed at this time, that somebody literally just wanted everyone to think negative thoughts about their, about their ex, even though they're the fucked up ex. Yeah, they were causing deception because they knew that their per or that this person, once they moved on from them, they would truly be ha uh, be happy. They would truly have a happy family situation. They knew, because I feel like they saw it uh, in, in readings or something. They knew that somebody was gonna have happiness after they walked away from, the, uh, from their ass. And I feel like, so they kept trying to cause deception just to hold back a connection. And I feel like now they look like a clown. Now they look like a joke because it's like, you just look obsessed because somebody don't give a fuck. <laughs> Somebody don't even care. They like, I uh, don't even care because I'm happy. Yeah, and that is making somebody feel, oh, somebody going through hell while another person is happy in a happy family situation. I'm getting somebody X. They're going through hell because they were obsessively trying to make their make somebody look like a joke when they were when they were the uh, nine of cups. Yeah, I'm getting somebody had a lot of sleepless nights and shit dealing with deception because of an ex that was obsessed with making them look like a clown. I'm getting an uh, ex was obsessed with making somebody look like an, a clown or make, making somebody look like a clown, like they were abusive or that they chose someone abusive just to hold, hold them back from peace and happiness. 
that's hateful. That's hateful. But I'm getting in the recent past, somebody something was working for this person. I'm getting with the uh, with their ten of cups, and they were saved from this ex. And now this ex is gonna go through hell because what goes around comes around. And because somebody or because this ex or a Leo Larry Sag or ex, uh, it could be you, Gemini. I don't know, but now now somebody can't put somebody through burdens no more, and somebody happy. Yeah, I feel like somebody was trying to cause illusions here because they wanted to be a third party interference in someone's connection, but it's not working. And now this person, this third party uh, is going through hell because it's exposed that they caused illusions for this person just because they wanted to clown them or they wanted to clown their person, but they don't even give a fuck. So now they are going through hell and feeling clown because still in the immediate future, someone is going to be saved from this third party interference who caused them hell in the past just to hold back a connection just to hold somebody back from peace and happiness somebody like no for seven to ten years somebody was going through hell when they were supposed to have their ten of cups because they were putting in work in the past they were putting in work in the past but somebody was obsessed with making this person look like a clown or making their person look like a clown so they kept causing illusions they kept causing deception they kept putting this uh, person through hell now they're going through hell. I'm getting a third party here. Now they're going through hell. And I feel like they, they feel like they're not beautiful or something like that. Yeah, somebody, just because they didn't feel beautiful, they wanted to try to make somebody uh, do like a tug of war or whatever. Or, oh, well, I'm uh, like an ex, a karmic. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make you choose me over your happiness. And somebody like, uh, no, I'm not letting something to rest with my happiness and more my peace. You affected my peace, ho. Somebody like, no, you affected my peace in the past, ho. I'm not letting something go with them. Somebody is no longer inspired to take action towards this uh, this past person. They like, no, and they are going through hell at this time because somebody really isn't shocked. They thought something was going to work, but it's over. <laughs> somebody like, no, it's over, and you can't cause deception in this connection no more. It's a missed opportunity, bitch. Yeah, somebody was putting in work towards someone for, for 7 to 10 years or 20 years. And then, and then somebody wants somebody going juggling a past person who was putting them through hell and they happiness. Somebody like, you want me to choose between. <laughs> you want me to choose between. Oh, you want me to play tug of war in between this and this. What, bitch? A hell and a happy family? Somebody like, sure, sure, I'll juggle that. Somebody happy as hell at this time. And that is putting somebody through hell because they thought that they were going to slide in and be a third party interference to cause deception, but it's not working. Someone, it's, it's a missed opportunity. Somebody just going to take a L for trying to hold somebody back and clown them in the past. I feel like somebody was putting in work towards this person, but they just wanted to clown them and, and make them look like an abuser or lie on them, trick them. Because they were envious of their fate. They knew they were fated to walk away from them into a happy family situation. And they knew that. Somebody ex or a Leo Aries Sag. So they purposely put this person through hell. And their person. Yeah. And now somebody is going to move on. I feel like, Gemini, you're going to have to move on. Okay? Because somebody is going to hold back. Or somebody is going to have to move on. Because somebody is going to hold back. They've been saved from a connection, or from a love here. They've been saved from someone who was a third party interference in their life who just put them through hell. Somebody is choosing a golden opportunity and a stable connection with someone who's unorthodox, who is peaceful. And patience is over. They are going to have a happy family situation. Somebody kept putting, yeah, somebody has clear insight and they know who to put in, in work towards and who to invest in. They not go invest in hell. Then when they, when they clearly could have a happy family with someone else, they like, no, you just gonna have to move on. I'm not going to juggle that. No, somebody like, I'm not going to juggle that hoe, period. Yep. Cause that was not a spiritually led decision to go towards that person in the past. All they wanted to do was compete. All they did was compete with me when I was with them. And then they wanted to compete with my new person because they were good for me. Somebody like, no, that was not a spiritually led decision in the past. Somebody want to compete with somebody because they have, they, somebody really makes them happy. But in the past, they wanted to clown the fuck out of this person and put them through hell just because they wanted to. Now somebody ain't working together with somebody and that's putting somebody through hell because they're not heartbroken. They're happy away from them <laughs> they're happy i'm getting somebody as happy as hell away from a leo aries sag a gemini a cancer pisces scorpio because they know that somebody was just competing because they knew these people knew that someone would have a happy family with someone 
So now, and I feel like they knew that it was fated for them to walk away and not work together with this person. And now somebody has a happy family. So it's proven. Yeah. It's proven that when someone walked away from the past and invested in this happy family situation, they'd be happy. And that's true at this time. Yep. And somebody has clear insight at this time that someone wants them to juggle hell and happiness. Somebody like, I'm good. No, somebody like, not living paycheck to paycheck. I feel like the, the hoe can't cause deception no more. 1022. Somebody cannot, us patience is over. Somebody trying to, somebody pass hoe trying to make, make somebody new have to have patience. No, now they're going to get to the bag and somebody going to have to move the fuck on because they were saved from this hoe from the past. Yeah, and I'm getting someone was investing in a hoe in the past and this hoe trying to stay attached so that somebody juggles their hell and, he and heaven. Somebody like, no, bitch, I'm choosing heaven. It's a golden opportunity this way and a stable connection. And someone is still investing in a stable connection because why would they invest in an unstable, unhealthy, toxic connection? Somebody's choosing not to work together with someone, period. They're going to invest in someone who is a golden opportunity and who that they who they can have a happy family with, period. They are their refuge, period. This person brought them to the most high and the most high is their, their refuge and they like, damn, they saved me. No, all these past people, no. Somebody like, no, you is not it. Yeah, something is working for a connection and somebody is not is still not going to communicate with someone because they they all they do is cause deception and put them through hell. And I feel like somebody's choosing to no longer be heartbroken by the past. Yeah, I feel like somebody in the immediate future is still going to get to the bag and they're going to have a stable connection and union. And somebody in, from the past will have to move the fuck on, period. Because someone is not passionate about going back or investing in the past no more when they have a golden opportunity and a happy family situation in their energy. It's over. Some type of hellish situation is over. Somebody putting in work towards hell is over. Somebody's not passionate about somebody is like, no, no more foolish games. I'm not investing in that. I'm not putting in time and energy into that. You just want to compete with my person. And I feel like that is bringing someone justice at this time because someone was just trying to make somebody fearful because they knew that their person would have good news and communication, a Jupiter and Gemini. Now patience is over. And I feel like somebody has clear insight that their person is a golden opportunity and they are someone to invest in and they bring them happiness in a happy family situation. So yeah, somebody like, yeah, I'm definitely getting somebody that has clear insight of uh, why somebody got pregnant by them because they wanted to use that child to compete and push away any other potentials because they knew that a masculine was going to be a uh, rich or wealthy so they they uh, purposely got pregnant by this person just so they could use this child to put this person through hell but they see the truth about this yep and i feel like yeah a leo that's how a leo was able to go to war with somebody or a sag or a gemini or pisces yeah it, they they use a child yeah to make try to make somebody twin flame mad but they not they have balance in this connection it's still a lot of love between these two they still have a happy family situation and somebody like you trying to put fear into me or something but they love the fuck out of me and not you yeah and i'm getting somebody still choosing their twin flame and i feel like gemini you could be pissed pisces sag leo could be pissed because it is going yeah somebody is moving they moved on and they and they gonna have a bag and they gonna have the stable connection and union and they gonna have a golden opportunity with this person still because they invested in the right one instead of the wrong one. Yeah. Now someone is a responsible father or mother and they're at peace. Yeah. Even after somebody was doing roots on them, they still gonna have a stable connection and somebody is still responsible. They're still a good mother or father and they still have peace even when they all when they were all they had. They still. And, that, and they still are that at this point, but they are not going to put in work and time and energy invest in bullshit no more. And they're not heartbroken because they're happy. And I feel like they like, I see you still trying to compete with my person. Are you still trying to compete? Because, yeah, I feel like somebody like, I see somebody can't demand somebody to do shit or command somebody to do shit. They're in a relationship. And it's good news. And they saw this in the past. And they already knew in the past it was going to be good news. So that's why they tried to compete using a child or using a third party energy here. But somebody, a connection still has balance. I'm getting, it could be y'all Gemini, y'all pissed. 
Because somebody is not a deceiver. Somebody did have a mistress on the side, a hoe, or somebody was a hoe, and somebody was not lying about that. And now somebody mad? Yeah, I feel like an empress could expose that a Gemini or a Sag or a Pisces um, was a hoe in the past. And, and they were trying to stop them because they were they didn't want somebody to... That's what I'm getting. So they was a hoe, right? And they, they, want, they was competing with somebody person, but they was a hoe. And they just didn't want to have this person happy. So they used the child to put someone through hell just to compete with someone's happiness. But I'm getting they're still choosing their empress here. And that's making somebody very mad because this empress was not lying. Somebody was a hoe. And now and now that somebody walked away from a hoe from their past, now they're not heartbroken and they're happy. And that hoe is going through hell. A hoe going through hell. <laughs> I feel like a hoe is in hell at this time. Pissed because the empress is still happy and they have a happy family situation. And somebody is walking away from some someone or people that were not of their their soul tribe. They were bad in a bad decision. I'm getting a, a bad decision ex and a soul tribe or a, a fake family or fake friends. Somebody like I'm good off that. Y'all gonna have to move on because patience is over. This connection is stable and it's clear that you was just trying to compete <laughs> with this empress. Period. And now somebody mad because somebody is not a part of someone's soul tribe. They're meant. They were meant to come into union with their person. They were meant to, yeah, and they were meant to manifest the bag, and they were meant to move the fuck on so that they can have the bag and the stable connection and a golden opportunity and someone investing in them for real, in a real love. Yeah, now someone is not unstable, and I feel like if somebody has no competition, they can't use something to compete with this person just to put their person in fear. They can't. Somebody like, you a hoe, and I'm an empress. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid. I know I'm the golden opportunity. And that's why they still invested in me. Because you was a hoe and I'm the empress. Somebody like, uh, yeah, that's why they still putting in work towards me and not you. Because you all you did was put them through hell. I just saw emperor. Yeah, all somebody did was put an emperor through hell and and put them try to put them in fear using a child and, and, and compete just to compete with a new person. Somebody like, no, that's why I'm not returning to the past because you wanted me to overwork for what? Somebody wanted somebody to over overwork for what? For a hoe? And now they have balance. They've been saved by the stable connection, this union. And patience is over. Someone is still investing in their love. Yeah, I feel like these friends may, uh, may want to return now that somebody realizes, oh, they did. They were a stable connection. They were a true love. They were a soulmate. A uh, duh. Yeah. After somebody didn't communicate with someone who was causing them hell or causing this connection hell, yeah, now somebody now somebody's choosing not to communicate and they have a golden opportunity and a good investment and a happy family. And that is gonna make somebody and put somebody in hell, these friends, this hoe from the past. Yeah, because somebody is still a motherfucker rock star, and I feel like their person is a rock star. Two, and they're fully committed to each other. And they're fully committed to their union. And somebody like, no, you want me to invest in you? So what? I feel like somebody wants somebody to invest in Somebody had a child so that they could use this child to get someone to invest in them so that they can get a, a better body or something. Yeah, but the joke is on them. I feel like this group and this ex, they can't troll this person no more because they're fully committed to their uh, person. And I feel like they are happy and they still have this golden opportunity and patience is over. Yeah. And someone is going to be fully committed to their union and manifest generational wealth. Yep. And because they made a wise choice. I feel like it's it's proven that someone made a wise, a wise choice. Someone is being seen at this time as a responsible mother and fa or father. And after they decided not to communicate with a past person who was putting them through hell, and now this past person or people are pissed because it's exposed. How they responsible and at peace away from you, bitch. Or away from you, ho. <laughs> How? How are they more independent and stable away from y'all? How are they more peaceful? How do they have good news in communication? How do they have good news in, in a golden opportunity and they get into the bag and a stable connection away from y'all? How? I'm getting somebody was trying so hard to convince somebody, convince people they're the bad ex, they're the bad baby mama, bad baby daddy. But they was lying to the courts. They was lying on this person. They were competing with this person. Then they competed with everyone that they uh, that, that they thought they could have a real love with. Because they knew that they were genuinely independent and stable. And they, they weren't codependent like them. Someone's ex. 
Now their prayers are answered because they also have somebody that is independent and not codependent like they ex. I'm getting all somebody exes did was put them through hell and they was codependent on this person and competing and competing with them and then competing with a true love. Somebody like, no, I've been saved from this bullshit and it was true. If I didn't communicate with you, I'd be saved and get to the bag and have a stable connection and it's proven. And so, yeah, somebody is still communicating with their person because they're a golden opportunity. And somebody who was dramatic is getting rejected at this time and they are going to be in shock. 2018, 2019 could be significant. Somebody kept being dramatic. So somebody getting rejected because they are a golden opportunity and they manifested a golden opportunity. And now they have a happy family situation because they were truly happy in the first place. They were just tied to a karmic who, who had a child with them just to t tie them to hell, keep them in hell. Now they got to move on. Somebody like, I see you still trying to compete with my person, but I'm still going to invest in them because what am I going to choose? Happy or hell? <laughs> Somebody like, uh, happy, bitch. <laughs> hell, you're going to have to move on. Goodbye. So somebody like, uh, goodbye. And that's going to put somebody in shock because they thought they'll be able to rush in and put somebody in fear real quick so that they would come back towards them so that they would be. <laughs> no, patience is over. Someone is still investing in a good investment and a good love. But that's all for this reading. Till next time.